Now, probably the most standard element on a form is the free text page. So where you can just type in whatever text you want, like for instance, what is your name? You can't use drop downs or tick boxes or anything like that. And there are two sorts of text controls. We have the rich text content control and we have the plain text content control. The difference between the two is that it allows things like bold and colors and that, that's the rich text part. It's not entirely saying that the plain text doesn't, but if I insert one, I can't insert another one because I'm in the middle. So that's your rich text and this is your plain text. You'll see what I mean when I switch design mode off. Okay, so my name is Philip Burton and I will bold the word Philip. Okay, so you can see Philip is bold and I'll put name in italics. I'll make, make it red. There we go. Now we'll do that in the plain text. My name is Philip Burton and I will make Philip bold. Except that makes the entirety of it bold. I'll make name red. It makes the entirety of it red. So rich text allows individual editing of individual characters to be bold and italic and highlighted and different fonts and so forth. Whereas the plain text just formats the entirety of the text as one. Let's have a look at the properties. If I click on control properties, you can see we've got title and tag. Again, could be useful for accessibility tools, could be useful if you put it onto the web. Show as, well, you can see we've got a couple of options, a bounding box or a start end tag which looks like that. So we've got one as a box and one with tags at the beginning and the end. Personally, I prefer the box, but that's just me. We can change the color of the box or tags. We can use a style for the text that's going in. Once the content's edited, we can remove the content to control. So if I insert a new rich text box, change the properties so that to remove content control when contents are edited and then I start typing and you can see the control actually gets deleted as soon as I start typing. It doesn't get recreated if I delete it but it does go away so it might simplify matters perhaps. So let's see what other things we've got. Control, we've got locking things. Now you remember when we went into restrict editing that we can put it as a filling in forms section only. So we can lock the particular controls. So let's just go back into, into the properties. Content control cannot be deleted. Contents cannot be edited. So I can see using that. I can't see using the editing much to be honest. So if I insert a new box there and I will enforce editing. So no need for a password, but now I can still type in my forms. So that is the rich text and the plain text development controls, the content controls in developer control.